you plan your dive and you dive your plan. With the number of divers using DPVs growing every day, you've got to wonder how many folks aren't accounting for Murphy's Law when they factor their scooter battery into their plan. You can get everything else right, but misjudge your battery capacity and you're swimming. Now, I don't mean to sound all gloom and doom. When you make a dive plan that involves a scooter, you have to create a plan that allows you to swim back if needed. Or you bring backup scooters into the mix, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So it shouldn't be something that kills you. That's why you take courses like Cave DPV. But my personal experience comes from scootering from shore in the ocean with rebreathers. We had incredible range, but we always had to plan to have more than enough battery capacity to deviate from our planned route. Now we could always swim back or to shore and we could surface at any time. It would probably be fine, but it sucks being on the surface, dodging boats. We want to stay underwater if at all possible. And that's way more likely to be possible if we aren't running out of battery because we had to deviate from our planned return route. So how do we make it easier to factor the rule of thirds into your scooter battery plan? I've been a test diver for Divex for a while now, but today I'm stoked to share something that actually came from the testing and tinkering. I'm very proud of this because it started out as my idea. Divex asked me what I could think of for new scooter features, and I told them that I'd love an easier way to make manage my battery capacity with the rule of thirds. Divex was all say less fam, and they whipped up an experimental update and put it out to the test divers. After a lot of testing and fiddling, it's finally ready. Here's how it works. Hold the trigger down for 10 seconds before your dive. That tells the scooter to analyze the capacity of the current batteries and break it into thirds. Once you're diving, it alarms audibly at the one third mark, again at two thirds. Obviously, you should be planning your dive specifically for the battery capacity of your scooter and continuously monitoring the battery level throughout the dive, but an audible alarm is a nice backup if you're into that type of thing. After displaying your remaining battery capacity in thirds, it also displays the total battery capacity in increments of 10%. So outside of the thirds calculation, you still know how full your batteries are. And to me, this is the best of both worlds. You can also recalculate thirds so you can do another dive. Whatever you like, just press the trigger and hold it down for another 10 seconds. Most of us already follow gas rules like thirds, especially in a cave environment. So why not your scooter? With this feature, you've got a clear turn point, a clear get home plan, and a built-in reserve. It's your scooter acting like a teammate. This is about preventing the kind of dumb emergencies that happen when you almost made it back. But the current kicked up, there's an issue with your exit, or you made a little navigational oopsie. If you've ever had to tow a dead scooter, you already know. Every new Divex scooter now includes this feature standard, and if you've got a Bluetooth model, you can upgrade it. And if you're not sure if your model is compatible or how to get the update, I can help. Feel free to reach out. We're always trying to make diving safer, cleaner, and more intuitive. This is a small change, but I think it can be a huge help, for me anyway. And if it keeps just one diver from a bad day, it's worth it. And if you're looking to pick up a Divex scooter, why not buy it from me? You can snag one on my website, or better yet, email me and we'll get you set up with exactly what you need. Huge thanks to my patrons for making videos like these possible. If you want to support the channel and help out, hit the Patreon link in the pinned comment below. Thanks for watching. Dive safe and I'll see you in the water.